there are equally other people that also own the company that we will ensure that we recover all those monies to run the business of the company. Mm -hmm. But this is the first step we are making. And I don't even think uh, it serves right for the images of these honorable members of parliament for us to use a very big platform such as Joy News <laughs> to actually pursue this kind of debts. It's not good for their image, especially when we, are, we, are, we, are, we, are, we have barely a year to elections. They should not forget that people use it against them. No, but they say that is the propaganda tool. I mean, clearly, uh, the MMT wants to dent their image, and that is why um, not cooked up the figures, but you are running to the media to talk about this could be settled between them my, and the MMT. My, my, my brother, let me tell you something. Metro Mass is not a political entity. Metro Mass is a limited liability organization. It's a limited liability company. Okay? Metro Mass has no business in the political like politics in this country. We are pursuing legitimate debts. Okay? Now, if they are saying we could settle this amicably with them, it's not like we just jump into the media. Just as I indicated earlier, we have served them with several letters. So we have served... If, and if, if, if we have cited the letter we are, we are making reference to, the first paragraph clearly indicates that it was a follow-up letter or it was making reference to a letter that has already been sent to Speaker of Parliament. And, and any letter we serve, Speaker, we also serve the individual people we are talking about here. Some of them deliberately just trying to say they don't own the company. But I can assure you, you you've, you've, this is the list before me.